Okay, so I'm going to do a video showing you how to change out an extractor on a post-2009 Browning Buckmark. Um, look through a few different videos here on YouTube on um, disassembly uh, of the internals of a Browning Buckmark. Uh, didn't really find anything that showed you how to remove the extractor on these. Um, so I had to kind of take it upon myself to figure that out, which wasn't too difficult uh, by any means. Uh, but figured since there's not really any videos showcasing how to do that it might be a good idea to put one up to help people who might be having the same issue I did um, I actually filmed this video uh, about a week ago now but it didn't turn out the way I wanted the way I wanted to show you how to do it and uh, I actually got in the new extractor um, that I was needing so I figured it might be a good idea to go ahead and redo this video um, don't want to take up too much time with it, but the main reason for me switching out the extractor on this pistol is that I was having extraction issues. Um, the cases weren't getting pulled out of the chamber, I was getting a lot of stove pipes, um, double feeds, just a lot of problems going on because of this extractor. Um, so once I took the old one out, which I'll show you here in a minute, I could actually see um, how much wear was on the old extractor uh, showing me that I did need a new one. Now that I've got the new one in here uh, it's performing flawlessly, haven't had any problems with it um, it's been running a variety of ammo Federal Auto Match, Golden Bullets, um, some Aguila, some Ely, SK, uh, Gecko um, just about everything uh, it's, it's running perfectly so um, changing out that extractor if you are having problems with ejection um, not so much ejection but extraction from the chamber uh, might help you solve that problem so let's get into it um, I'll go ahead and show you the difference between the new extractor and the old extractor and then I'll show you how to go ahead and get these uh, get these in and out of the of the pistol again this video only pertains to post 2009 model buck marks um, Pre-2009 were a little different. Um, not quite sure if the extractor set up differently in those, um, but all I know is what's going on with the model that I have. So, uh, like I said, it may be a little different for a pre-2009 model. I'm not quite sure. That might be something you'll have to figure out on your own. So, let's get to it. Alright, so the first thing I want to show you is the difference between the old extractor and the new one. On the old extractor, which I've got right here, if we look closely, you can see how there's a slight angle in the face of the extractor there. Um, that that's that was my problem basically. Um, I bought this gun used. Uh, since I bought it, I put countless rounds through it, thousands upon thousands, um, and it's steadily been getting worse until finally it was just basically not able to get through a couple rounds without jamming. So once I pulled it out, I could see the the wear on there and how it's angled like that. And I knew that pretty much that that was my issue that I was having. But this is the extractor. This is what um, you'll be looking at if you're having issues like this and want to see if there is any kind of abnormal wear. There's another shot um, of the extractor where you can see that angle even better. So now we'll look at the new extractor. Let's get it in focus. Okay, so here you can see how that angle isn't there. Maybe slightly, but not as much. Um, it's definitely more square. Uh, that's what you're going to look for. That's what you want in the new extractor. You want that squared face, and uh, that's going to help catch on the rim of your cartridge and help extract it from the chamber. So it's something to keep in mind um, if you are having issues like that. Look at these. Um, these are going to be the main culprit um, obviously for extraction issues. Sorry about the focusing guys. That's a very small part so it's hard to keep it focused. So anyway this is the new extractor so I'm going to put the old one in, um, show you how to take it out, and how to replace it with a new one. So, let's do that. Okay, 
So I've got the old extractor back in here just for demonstration purposes. Um, right here is the extractor channel on the slide. So there's three parts inside of the slide. Um, you've got your extractor, which I just showed you, the extractor plunger, and then the extractor spring. So go ahead and show you how to take those three out and show you the difference between the three components. So if you look closely on the slide, there's a roundish opening right here. What you're going to want to do is look in there and you'll be able to see a slot that is uh, in between the extractor plunger and the actual extractor. Go ahead and put some tension on the extractor, push it towards the outside of the slide, and that will push that pin down into the slide farther. Once it's pushed out like that, and this is going to be difficult to do with my focus on the camera, but we're going to take our punch. Um, I'm honestly not too, I think this is a 130 seconds punch. Um, anything small like this uh, will work, even if you've just got an Allen wrench or a um, toothpick or something like that, honestly, anything small enough to fit in there and apply some force will work. So we'll go ahead and push that extractor out as far as we can. Stick our punch down in that circular opening and get in between the extractor and the pin. Okay, so keep the pressure applied and then you can just pull the extractor right out of there once you get the plunger all the way down. Okay, so the extractor's out. Now, um, don't let these just pop out. You want to keep your finger over the opening after you pull the extractor out. Um, but then you can just push out the spring and the plunger. Okay, this is the extractor plunger. It's a small piece. Notice that it has a skinnier end. Um, this is the uh, part of the extractor plunger that fits down into the spring. Um, and then you'll see that there's kind of a squared off face on this plunger. That is going to be facing towards the inside of the slide. Um, that's going to basically hold your extractor in. Um, it fits up on a notch in the extractor. Let me grab the extractor and I'll show you what it does. So, plunger, here's the extractor. Inside the slide, it's basically fitting onto it like that and that's what's keeping pressure on the extractor and allows it to be under spring tension so that's how those fit together so you want to make sure that this part is facing in towards the slide and then you've also got your extractor spring so those three components are what makes up your extractor mechanism in your slide so now we've got them out I'll show you how to put it back in it's just as simple as getting them out. So first thing, take your extractor spring, put it back down in that channel. Once it's in there, take your extractor plunger, again making sure that the square side is facing in towards the slide. Sorry that that was out of view. Uh, then you'll just want to look down this channel, make sure that it's squared off. You'll be able to see what I'm talking about when you do this yourself. Just uh, going to look down in this hole and make sure that the square side's uh, vertical, or however you want to think of it. Okay, once that's set up, it's kind of loose in there, so you might have to adjust it every now and then um, while you're trying to put the new extractor in. But now that I've got the plunger in there, take my punch and I'm just going to pull it back and keep it under spring or under tension until I get the extractor in. So just put your punch in there, pull back. Pull it back and then just slide the extractor into that channel. And once you get it right, once it's in there, it should fall right into a slot that's channeled out inside of the slide. Um, 
and just look at it make sure everything looks right that it is set up the way it was before it was taken out and then you're just gonna slowly let that punch come up and keep some pressure on it and it'll fall right into place so now you can just check your new extractor make sure that it acts the same that it's under spring tension pull on it make sure it's not coming out of there and then you've replaced your extractor um, like I said this will solve a lot of issues if you're having an extraction problem so a lot of people talk about how uh, 22 pistols can be very uh, ammo sensitive um, tend to jam be very picky um, yes some can but I find often that the issues people are dealing with are extraction issues uh, so looking into getting a new extractor for your Buckmark or your Ruger Mark III or whatever um, 22 pistol you're dealing with, even rifles, um, could solve a lot of those issues that people think are just going to happen regardless. Because um, I can tell you, before I changed this, um, really the only kind of ammo this seemed to run was Remington Golden Bullets, um, which sucks because I shoot a lot of competitions and golden bullets are some of the least accurate um, just cheap dirty rounds that you can find uh, which I may do with them but I really wanted to run um, nicer ammo through it, some SK, some Ely so I was getting very frustrated that it wouldn't extract those or run those rounds at all once I changed out this extractor I'm having no issues. Um, in fact, today I just put about 150 rounds of uh, Federal Auto Match through it, which this gun did not like at all before, and it ran perfectly. No issues whatsoever. So, hopefully, um, this video will help you out if you're having extraction issues in your buck mark, um, show you how to get that extractor out and uh, get a new one in. I know it ran a little, little long, but I wanted to uh, be as detailed as I could and help you guys out. So. Anyway, thanks for watching.